Hello friends, welcome to the world of maths by MEA. I have taken this question from 50 must solve geometry questions open live test. If you have not taken the test, I would say go and take the test. The link is in the description of this video. I hope this one is okay. So this is a question number 28 of the 50 must solve geometry questions. The question is in a triangle ABC, D is on AC such that angle BD is median and, and angle BDC is 45 degree. If angle BAC is equal to angle DBC equal to theta, then we have to find theta. Before solving this question, I would discuss two concepts. One is the sine formula, another one is the similarity concept. Let's check the sine formula and the similarity concept. In any triangle ABC, what is sine formula? So we have triangle ABC, sine formula states that if you are taking in the BC, then we have to take the sine A. What is the meaning of BC? If this one is BC, then corresponding sine. If you are going to take CA, then we have to take the sine B. If you are going to take AB, then we have to take sine C. And this ratio is always constant. That is nothing but two of the R. R is the circumradius for any triangle. I hope this one is clear. So I'm going to use this concept and also the similarity. What is similarity in our question? Say if we have a CVN called AD. And if we say this angle is equal to this angle, then this is the perfect question of similarity. And this question came in the many of the major examinations. We can say we have to write the similarity ABC in triangle. We have ADC. So we have to write ADC similarity. How can we write the similarity? We have angle A. We do not know what is the angle A, but we have angle B. We know the angle B is the theta. So in triangle ADC, angle A is the theta and angle C is common. So we can say D comes here. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DAC. Now we need to write the similarity ratio. We can say AB upon DA is equal to if I say the BC, then I have to take AC. If I say we have to take AC, then I have to take DC. So we have two AC. So we can say the AC squared is nothing but BC into DC. Or we can say AC is nothing but under root of the BC and DC. This is the one of the important outcome of this figure. I hope this one is clear. If I say this one is X, this one is Y, then this value is nothing but X into, then this value is nothing but BC. That is complete X plus Y into Y. So this is nothing but Y into X plus Y. I hope this one is clear. The complete BC is X plus Y. Then we have to go like this. We have point C then the product of this and this is equal to AC square. This is the outcome and one of the most important outcomes. So in this question, I'm using sine formula and similarity this outcome. I hope this one is clear. Now solve our question. So we have triangle ABC. This one is A, this one is B, this one is C and BD is median. So we can say this value is X, this value is X, total is nothing but 2X. And we know according to question BAC is theta, this angle is theta. So we can say BC is nothing but DC into AC. So we can say this one is nothing but DC is X, AC is 2X, so root 2X. This angle is 45 degree. Now we have to find the angle theta. Now it's time to use sine formula. I'm using sine formula in triangle BDC. So we can say we have X corresponding angle is theta. So X upon sine theta with this line root 2x and the corresponding angle is 45 degrees sine 45 degree. So we can say sine theta is nothing but this comes here x upon root 2x and sine 45 comes here. So this is nothing but 1 by root 2 and sine 45 is also 1 by root 2 that is nothing but 1 by 2. So sine theta is 1 by 2. It means theta should be or must be 30 degree and this is our answer if theta is in the first quadrant or the acute angle. I hope this one is clear. So our answer is option number A, 30 degree. So I used two things. One is the similarity and I must say, please remember if you have this figure, a similarity concept or this outcome always helps. Or this outcome is nothing but the geometric mean of the AC and DC. You can expect this question also in your examination. Then I use sine formula and solve the question. I hope this one is clear. But still, if you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Thank you and happy learning.